Hi guys, in this video we're gonna see something about login system. So I'm gonna open up my Firefox and type in localhost. Sorry for my typo. It's localhost host and our Excel server is running. So now we need a text editor. So I'm going to open up my sublime text. There it is. And I'm going to save this file, empty file, as index in the server location like C, X, M. And then I'm going to put YouTube inside the YouTube folder. I'm going to create another folder called login. Sys, this for login system, login underscore sys, okay. Inside this folder, I'm going to save that file as index.php. So, I'm going to check this file, if it's working or not, like, it go high, that's it. So, I'm going to change the directions. YouTube slash login sys it read that to 82 port I'm pretty sure our server is not running on 82 yep it's running on 18 so I'm gonna remove that port number okay it's working so now I'm gonna search for login bootstrap template and I'm gonna choose the first thing and I'm gonna choose the last one so I'm gonna copy this content okay CSS too so I'm gonna paste it right here in this index.php file and remove that php section and add some basic html elements so ht and okay tab that's it so i'm gonna cut this one and paste it in the head system and type as login system and i'm gonna remove body elements okay because we have that one so then i'm going to end html that's it refresh so we have the content so now i'm going to copy the css and paste it in the head section within style curve and save it and hit refresh here we go we got exact content so now i'm gonna remove the register link so yeah it's removed and after that i'm removing the remove me also okay now we have a pretty clear layout so after that i'm gonna open up my PHP my admin so PHP my admin so again the port issue I'm removing it so I'm going to select YouTube database and then um, I'm going to create login table before that I'm dropping that T1 table and then I'm gonna need one more column so five and go now I'm gonna name the columns ID is my first column and the second column is first name and the third column is last name and then password and finally mail id okay i'm gonna set where 
block care for all the others except the id i am checking auto incrementer so it's here uh, auto incrementer and hit and save so it throws an error so i'm gonna forget to give length i'm gonna put length here okay so last will be 40 okay fine so we have the table and id is the primary key and then i'm gonna use mail id and password as the login credentials so i'm gonna insert an entry so first name is cody and the last name is miller and i'm gonna pass give password like one two three four five six and it should be md5 encrypted mail id is cody at mail.com okay so here we have one record ready for integration so after that i'm gonna create a php script within that in the index file to handle the login operation to get the data from uh, username field i use this one dollar underscore post of user name and i am trying to duplicate this one like with control shift k but it is not working so i am just copying control c and control okay control c and paste it again before that i want to check the information in the action attribute so i'm going to give where is it here is it dashboard dot php and this one is semicolon semicolon and save it and hit refresh we have to okay it's going to dashboard.php so now i'm gonna add some basic record fields to the html elements now it's not going empty it's not submitting the empty values okay then i'm gonna check with if a set of user if the value is entered on the user field and press submit means it will it will be true that's the thing if you said means so again i'm gonna connect to mysql so mysql underscore connect so first variable is local host which is the host name and the second variable second sorry second parameter sorry for that second parameter is username that's root and the third parameter is password and the fourth one is db so that's it so i'm gonna assign to con variable and if uh, if connection is true if we perfectly connected to the database then we have to proceed so after that i'm gonna write some query so dollar query so q u e r y is equal to it's a string variable so i'm gonna enter query select star from the table which we created login table so login where mail email equal to is equal to the variable the post dot username it should be matched with that one right so i'm just copying and paste it right here in the query so and then the password is equal to md5 of md5 is a php function 
which encrypts the data and then I am passing password as the parameter to the md5 function and then I'm gonna just arrange some string things so yeah period code and nope not that so deleting and here it is okay and then finally okay the semicolon now I forgot something so I'm gonna fetch mysql i fetch so just click on the first link and then yeah here it is mysql query it needs two parameters one is the query and the other one is connection I'm gonna change that to query okay and then I need one more thing the row count so row count yeah and click on the first link and here it is copy this and paste it right there and then I'm gonna check this if the result matches with our one of our record then we have a match ID like he has successfully logged in the that status else he is an invalid user so he doesn't pass through that login system so the thing is I'm gonna set PHP location for redirecting purpose so first link looking for examples here it is copying test it and change to dashboard that's it and let's go else case um what we gonna say not logged in invalid yeah invalid invalid log in that's it okay and i'm gonna test this one cody at mail.com one two three four five six yeah here we go it's going to log in dot dashboard.php sorry dashboard.php help case is also passing so something is missing so i'm gonna remove the action and six three five and again cody one two three four five six and that's an error. MySQLI result error. Expect boolean. Sorry. Okay, one minute. Boolean is given actually. So, let's go. I'm going to control shift R. Recent. And copy the query into this area. I think this code is missing, so it should it have no something else is missing. So I think the mail ID, yeah, mail ID is missing. So mail ID, yeah. There we go. So I'm gonna change the query. I need quotes and then I need to change the column name, it's mail id, save and dot php is very much needed so I need to change that one Cody 1, 2, 3, 5, 6, 7 invalid login, yeah this time we pass that one so again yeah it works perfectly so now I'm going to create dashboard.php. So for the new tab and then dashboard.php. Okay. So in this dashboard, I'm going to open up PHP and echo as checking it's working or not. That's it. Yeah, it's working. So after that, the thing is. 
if I didn't log in means this also goes in. So I'm going to introduce new thing called session variable. For session variable, we have to include session start function in the first line of a PHP script. So I'm just including that. After that, you can use the sessions like dollar underscore session. All the letters should be caps. It's a it's a super global variable. So I'm gonna set login is equal to true. Yeah. So. I'm going to set it as boolean and then copying it and paste it and I forgot something yeah username fetching uh, I totally forgot that one so again mysqli fetch so the same log again yeah here it is so I need MySQL association. Okay. So I just copied that line and paste it right here. It needs two parameters. One is the result and the other is a constant. MySQL association. So the thing is it it gonna get all the data from uh, match database and then and then it's gonna say give it give it as associated array. So I'm gonna set first name to user and then login is equal to false for else case conditions. So after that in the dashboard PHP I'm gonna start the session again in this file so that I can access the variables from the index file. Uh, index file we set session is equal to true or false and then in the dashboard file we are setting uh, we are checking if it's true or not if it's true he can log in yeah because we have a condition right right there right so if he passed the login we just uh, allow him to allow him to dashboard else case uh, we just redirect to login.php. So I pasted the login.php and then I'm going to echo the name of the user. So for that, copy paste user name. That's it. So and I'm thinking like I'm going to create a login, sorry, log out here. In the dashboard PHP, so a tag log out dot php. So log out, then log out. I'm gonna say control shift s to save the file as log out. So just log out, and I'm gonna remove all the stuff here we need only one thing we have to start the session and then we have to destroy the session for unsetting all the session variables so that it is no longer availability of that uh, login variable so if he's logged out means he sent back to the login area so that's it so this set okay I'm going to open up dashboard.php and if I hit, okay, I'm missing something. It's an index page, index.php file, not a login.php. So it's changing all these things and hit refresh. Okay, go back and Cody, one, two, three, four, five, six, okay. Is passed, so that prints the Cody name, and now I'm gonna remove echo 
and I'm going to add one more feature so that that is like if I log in if I have a successful session he visit the same page again it should be redirected to dashboard that's the feature we have we are going to add so now it I'm gonna index okay so simply by simply by adding two things if login is true if he has a session he just directed to the dashboard so that uh, if he has a successful login session he can go directly go into that dashboard page so there is an undefined index error so i'm i'm going to just simply ignore this uh, error by adding a symbol in front of that session variable so this is it guys uh, so in the next video i'm going to add some security things in this code after that i'm going to teach you some best practices thanks for watching have a nice day